has been cancelled. It's just 20 minutes late. It's now been cancelled. Hey everyone, G loves trains here and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by Train Day 8. It is absolutely freezing and let's see how many times I say that today. I'm definitely gloves trains. I'm off to Moulton, Seema, Filey, Humanby and Bempton. I did initially have a different plan for Day 8, however yesterday I realised that because I'm filming on a Saturday, there are several rail replacements throughout the region which meant that I had to come up with a different plan but I am very excited for this one instead I had no idea what class of train this was going to be it is a 185, it is 185 126 and I have got my favourite seat which on this unit is the one next to the toilet however I think I may actually move from here because there is a smell and I think it's coming from whatever that is on the wall next to the toilet door. Yeah. I don't even want yeah. to know. I'm at Moulton and immediately stepping off the train, this station looks absolutely lovely. It does definitely help with it being a little bit frosty and with the sun being low down as well. Moulton is a Transpennine Express only station and that is something I don't think I've ever said before and it has one platform but there is a lot along the platform to look at there's a load of bike racks down there there's a clock there's loads of places you can sit and this building on the platform is grade 2 listed as well There is an Asda that overlooks the platform down at that end and there is a ticket office here as well. I do have an hour wait until the next train so I'm going to go for a walk because walking makes me sweaty which warms me up especially in this jacket and uh, I really need that right now. Glad I survived just walking over that ice then. So I saw this little walking path that runs right alongside the River De Went and I thought I'd come and check it out. This is a really lovely area by the way. You know I could carry on walking along here all day but I think I'm going to stop, turn back and I'm actually going to go to that Asda because I could do with another drink. I'm on 185145, got my favourite seat again and it is nice to see on this unit there's no uh, runny chocolate by the door. This is a Transpennine Express service to Scarborough calling at SEMA. I'm at SEMA, kind of sounds like no, not entirely sure why the train isn't leaving yet, but I've got about just over 20 minutes here. SEMA is operated by TPE, you also have Northern Trains calling here. It's got two platforms, both of which are on an island platform. There's four waiting shelters and there's a signal box over there. From SEMA obviously you can carry on upwards to Scarborough but I thought whilst it's so cold I'll save that for another day but I am waiting for a train now that's going to take me onto the Yorkshire coastline and I'm very much looking forward to this because it is a line that I've never ridden down before and I don't know what to expect window view wise I mean obviously I'm not travelling the full length along it just a little bit The way out of the station is via a barrow crossing. I won't sit on any of these seats because they're just covered in a little layer of ice which is melting and it is lovely that the sun is shining directly on me right now because it means I don't need to walk around to keep warm. Still not entirely sure why this train is still sitting here um, but it's very loud and I have decided now to instead of going Filey, Humanby then Bempton I'm going to go Bempton, Humanby and Filey because one of the trains going downwards has been cancelled so to avoid that two hour wait and also have less time in the cold because one of the upwards trains is quite delayed 
it will work out in my favor to just reverse the order of the stations I'm going to. Oh my days, it's finally going. We're just sitting at Hamambi station on a red light. You know what? I would have had enough time to get off the train, do my filming and get back on it. Just got off 170 Turbo Star 472 and I'm now at Sunny Bempton. It is one of those outdoorsy, unstaffed stations which I absolutely love and it does look as though it actually belongs in Cumbria. is a northern only station and it's got one platform it's also got a level crossing a dot matrix this bluey yellowy shelter i really like it here i actually thought this was a waiting shelter at first but um it's actually part of the building <laughs> at the end of the platform there is this i was gonna call it a harrington hump at first but it's not really it's more sort of a raised extension but it does mean that benton has a bouncy platform just got off 174.55 and i really need a wee and both of the toilets on that train just then were out of order Hey hon! Mambi. Wolf's trains may be away, but Confused Me is out. Basically, when I looked before, I thought I'd have about a 10 minute change over here because of one of the services being quite delayed. But then on the train, I kind of realized that must have been canceled and I'll probably have an hour wait here. But just coming into the waiting shelter and looking up at the screen, I see that the 1322 service has been canceled. Yeah, that's very confusing and I'm really hoping that's not actually the case because I don't think I can wait until 14.20 to have a wee. But looking on RTT, it says it's just 20 minutes late. So I'm going with that and it has warmed up a lot now as well, which means I can actually sit here and sunbathe. I did not expect that from today. <laughs> So Hamumbi then, it's got two platforms, it's got a Harrington Hump on either platform, it's got a signal over on that platform, there's a level crossing, there's northern trains, and there's a lot of plant pots. Big ones, small ones, rounded ones, rectangular ones, pictured ones. And look what's here, an all self-catering accommodation, you can actually stay at Hamumbi. And when you're at home, remember you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're at home, remember you put your knickers on your head and you shout, Squishy Babies! Just having a look at this, there used to be loads more stations down this line. Um, all these ones with the blue circles closed between 1950 and 1970. So I decided to just reload the RTT page just to double check that the train's definitely running and basically it's now been cancelled between Cottingham and Scarborough. So turns out I am going to have to wait for the 1420 which is delayed so 1430 something. I have to wait until I can have a wee. It has been cancelled due to a fault with the signalling system I have been here for over two hours now and a train is finally coming in. Honestly, in the winter, I try and avoid two hour waits, but you know, at least the sun came out. I'm getting on 174.56 and hopefully I can have my wee now because I really do need one. I'm at Filey, finally, and when I was going um, along the stations before and I got a glimpse of this station out of the window, I did actually think it looks like um, Grimsby Town. Now that I'm actually here though, it looks a little less like Grimsby Town. I think it was just because of the overhead structure in the station though, and this is actually a Grey 2 listed station as well. Filey's got two platforms and it's run by Northern Trains. There is a way out of Filey Station avoiding the footbridge, but I'm gonna cross over the footbridge and go and have a look at the front of the station. 
there is a waiting room over on the platform i've just come from platform two but when i try to open the door to have a look inside it it is locked it is just a 10 minute walk to the beach so I'm gonna go there i do love ending my days with a visit to the beach as well so it's all worked out good in the end It's not even that steep, but it feels strangely steep walking down here. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. It's a shame I couldn't spend me two hour wait here. And you know, for once, down by the beach, it ain't windy. I can't believe that to avoid a two hour wait, I changed my plan and it was also actually going to see me finish filming an hour earlier, but it ended up with me having a two hour wait and finishing filming an hour later than I'd planned. It's funny how these things happen, isn't it? Right, I'm actually going to head back to the station now, as lovely as it is sitting next to this Robin, because I've got a train to catch home, and I think the uh, signal failure issues from this morning have been sorted. Typical now that I've finished filming, right? Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Bye, guys. Oh my, I didn't mind my voice then. <laughs> that went a bit high.